All right, what we're looking at here is my my clarifier for my uh, aquaponics system. This is my standpipe that comes out of the fish tank uh, and empties into this clarifier that I made out of a uh, one of those five gallon uh, water containers that you get at the store. So I just took the container, I put this uh, this this divider in the middle of it. It goes all the way down to the part where the cone starts and it just divides this in half so the water comes in on this side then it has to go underneath uh, before it can come out and go down this drain where when it then goes down into my sump. So the way, uh, so what I do is while well, the particles collect in the bottom of this uh, upside down water jug and then when I want to clean it out what I do is I just take this here open that up now it's, it's not the most convenient setup because I have to do this but for this size system it's okay if I had a lot more fish this probably wouldn't work so I just take this and let the let all the solids come out do this a couple times a week you can see the water level there over in the clarifier has gone down because uh, we just emptied that water out and that's basically it it doesn't it's not the great greatest system in the world part of the problem is that it's it's just too small for the size of the system and also because it's so short there isn't really a lot of pressure to send the particles out uh, through this pipe I mean the difference in height here is very little so I do have trouble getting stuff out of the clarifier so what I sometimes do is I shut the system off and I disturb all of the particles in here to get them to come off the walls to get them to come off of the side of the of the divider and the pipe I mean you can see everything just clings to the to the surfaces so I'll shut the system off and just disturb all those particles so they sink to the bottom and then I come in and I, I empty it again um, in fact I'm gonna do that right now and show you what that looks like later after I've disturbed all these so when I say shut the system off I don't really mean shut it all off all I'm saying is all I have to do is close this valve this is the return valve to the tank so in a few in a little while this water will the water from the tank will stop overflowing into this clarifier so there won't be any more water coming out of that pipe so once that happens uh, in a few minutes then I'll disturb everything in here and then I'll wait uh, for it to all settle and I'll empty I'll empty it out again here okay so we're not getting any water coming out of this uh, pipe anymore basically I just took my my stand pipe and turned it up so that no water can overflow out of the tank and all I'm going to do is take take whatever you want and just scrape all the waste that's cleaned everything I just do that and I'll wait a while and come back come back a little later and uh, and empty this thing out for some reason this stuff it gets really uh, kind of I don't know how to describe it. it but down at the bottom it'll it'll uh, kind of I don't know if you call it coagulate or, or what the right word for it is but it gets kind of uh, fibrous fibrousy I guess that's a word and doesn't always sink 
Oh, that wasn't good. So it doesn't always sink down to the bottom where it should be. Now I just I shouldn't have stuck my hand in there because that forced water down the pipe with a bunch of gunk in it. So that's not what you're supposed to do. But anyway, that's all. I think I've gotten everything pretty well loosened up. So now I'm just going to wait a while. I'll come back in a bit and um, and drain this thing and see what comes out. Okay, it's been uh, about an hour and 15 minutes since I disturbed everything in the in the little clarifier there. So hopefully it's all settled to the bottom and let's see what comes out. That wasn't bad. That was a pretty good amount of gunk that came out of the bottom there. Let's see what else we get. That's pretty good. So I'll just keep doing this, how much more you'll get, because as I pointed out before, I'm out it's running clear. So that yeah, worked. Yeah, it's clean now. So I think I took all the gunk out. All the sludge. And Go ahead over here, put this back down, turn my return back on, and some people throw this out, they, or they compost it. What I'm going to do, I'm just experimenting right now, I'm going to dump this into my gravel grow bed. I've got red worms in here. They should be able to break all this stuff down. Now you might ask why I even bother collecting it in the clarifier because I'm going to dump it in the gravel beds anyways. And the reason is because those solids, if I just ran the water from the tank right into the, into the sump, those solids would settle on the bottom of the sump. They would never make it to the gravel beds. And they would also clog up my pump, most likely. I mean, I have to clean the pump anyways, but I would have to clean it even more if I ran my uh, system, or the water right back into the sump. So that's my thinking there. And here the uh, clarifiers fill back up, the water's running back into the sump now. So that's it. We're we're done. And I would I do this once a week and my caretaker's supposed to do it. Once or twice a week also, so that's three times a week. Although I think that uh, I don't I don't know if he's doing everything I'm doing here. I haven't really shown him all that. So anyway, that's uh, that's it for now.